I'm now going to cover what is the main feature of the Humax uh, Freesat box, which is the ability to record and playback um, television programs, okay? So there's a number of options um, for this. So I can be coming along here and I can be looking at the Michael Ball show and I might say, oh, this is um, that girl, Jordan, I'd like to record that program. So what I do is I come along and I simply hit the record button, which is uh, simply a red dot on the, on the button here. And I hit record and instantly it'll start to record, okay? So you can see it coming up on the screen. Now if we actually clicked off to another channel, let's say, for instance, at this point in time, we can see we've gone up to channel 4, which is 104, and we can see in the 103 on the screen it's actually saying um, recording on ITV, okay? So when it comes actually to the duration of how long we're going to be recording this program for, if we hit the record here, we can actually forward like this. Um, and sorry, I just hit the record button again. And we arrow forward and we'll see you can set the record time to 82 minutes, to 92 minutes. 102 minutes so it's given it in hours and minutes or superior minutes by itself okay and we can go forward there for a large number of hours i mean the most i've ever forward is for about 10 hours and it still keeps going so just to bring it back to the original setting then of 12 minutes which might be corresponding with the duration of this program till the end of the program um so things like that now um, if i come along then into the section that would allow me to actually look at where we've recorded earlier if i hit the media button here if you come back up here, we can see that the Michael Ball show is currently recording here. Now the strange thing about using the record button on the Humex box is that if you hit the record button and instantly flick into the media section, it doesn't show up. It takes about 15 or 20 seconds uh, before it shows up in the particular list. And before I show you all the features that come with this particular um, the media section, I just exit back out here and come along and then if you're recording and you decide, well, you know, maybe Jordan is quite as interesting as I thought you was, I wanted to stop the recording, you can simply hit the stop button here and it says um, cancel and I just go OK here now and I've stopped recording, I've actually flicked channels now I flick back, you can see there's no symbol in the top corner uh, that say we're doing recording now if I come along and I said well there's a program on later today which I'd like to record or possibly even Sirius Link what we do here now is we use the guide button on the remote control which is here we simply hit this guide button and I'll just go into and say I'm quite interested in um, some program, uh, we'll say Deal or No Deal, which is actually on a different channel. So I just arrow down and then I'll arrow across uh, to, we'll say, uh, sorry, the Antiques Roadshow might be down here. So I just arrow across and when I get here, I come along and I hit the record facility on this. Okay, so now it's marked that that particular program is recorded. And if I hit the OK button on that, um, would you like to cancel the reservation? I'll say yes. So I've actually cancelled the reservation on it. Once again, I'll bring this function back up. And now if I actually hit the OK button instead of the record button, it says, which we want to record once or the entire series. So I'll actually click record a um, single program there. But I could have equally set the series link there. So now, anyway, so that's just showing you a few different ways in which you can actually do the recording. Now when it actually comes to the playback, what you can do is you just go into the media section here and it gives a list of everything recorded to date. So if I come back down here, we'll say, and um, I, um, I went to uh, the X Factor, I can simply go here, select, and it said um, play from start, resume playing. So maybe I've looked in a few minutes, I'd like to resume playing from there. And we have here, you know, the wonderful X Factor. And it simply stop then. If I can forward or rewind it within this section. But simply to go back to the media thing, I can simply hit the stop button here. It'll bring me back out. So I might have said to myself, well, that X Factor I want to keep. But the, um, the TV book club is no longer of interest to me. I'd like to delete it. Once again, I hit the OK button here. And I bring it up. But on this occasion, I will select a uh, delete a file. So I'll go OK and come over and make sure you want to delete it, yes. When you look at the thing here, the book club thing has now disappeared from the uh, particular list. So you can see here we have folders up on top, come dine with me, with 63 episodes. And this is because some period of time ago I will have a uh, set a series link on that. So each time that program has come on, it has recorded and has actually grouped them all together into the thing, into a single section. And another neat feature about the record facility, uh, if we record a program for a very short period of time and then stop, it doesn't, as I explained earlier, initially appear here, 
Uh, and that's quite good because if we accidentally start to record or change our mind very quickly, it's probably of very little interest to have us 20 or 50, 15 or 20 second segments of programs. So programs like that simply don't show up in the media center. Now there's the other alternatives inside it where you can actually hit the green button here and click over to the media. So for instance, uh, one of the weekends I just recorded a radio program, the Marion Finucane Show, off of RT. And this is a facility that's not available on the Sky Plus, which is quite good. And also other features here, you have the music center and also the photo center, where obviously you can upload these type of things onto it, although I've never done it personally myself. So it gives you a pretty comprehensive thing. You know, and what I'll say about the, the FreeSat Plus box compared to the others is that the features on it work quite well, they're quite slim, seamless, quite neat. And, you know, for people would say who don't want the hassle of subscribing to Sky Plus and it costs that there's a free site box gives it excellent because it's both high definition, you know, and an awful lot of thought and effort has gone into the actual design of it. And this is the, one of the main reasons that free site is so great is that, you know, they're a mass market, the BBC ITV together, and they've put all the effort and time into designing this to give you all these features and then hopefully make millions of these boxes. So, you know, the design costs are recouped, where co companies competing against FreeSat and Sky simply can't spend that type of money on R&D, and that's why their products, in my, my opinion at least, isn't quite as good as the FreeSat boxes.